Hi guys. And this, God damn it! Every time I sit down, my Girl Scout cookies just will not stay where they're supposed to. Jesus. Hi guys. It is another warm, windy, soon to be 80 degree November 20th. Uh, Wednesday, November 20th, heading to 80 degrees here in the uh, shithole state of Texas. And I need to get out there and start dragging dead cottonwood limbs out to the burn pile. Obviously in this wind I am not going to be setting my burn pile on fire. But before I get out there and start dealing with this goddamn dying cottonwood tree, bring you my uh, We Are So Fucked story of the day right here on uh, the mainstream media. Now I do want to say I just finished over there at Collapse Chronicles. My uh, little eco pussy twin just read an excellent uh, essay by this fellow Dave Pollard. Never heard of this guy who pretty much interpreted uh, if you want to hear a, an interpretation of this mainstream media news story, you might want to go over there to Collapse Chronicles and listen to Dave's excellent essay. But uh, we are going just to go over to Yahoo News. And this morning, several versions of this story, I think... Let's see, how about the independent, we are in a deep hole. Uh, yeah, we are in a deep hole. But I think we're going to go with, let's go with the French news service. Of course, we have, a, you know, newspapers in England and France covering this story. Uh... Well, I'll just have to put the We Are So Fuck sign down for a minute. Okay, from the French News Service, <clears throat> their version of We Are, they end with We Are in a Deep Hole. Planned fossil fuel output swamps Paris climate goals. And my no shit Sherlock button has died on me. Uh, we have lost the made in China no shit Sherlock button. <clears throat> Okay, the world <clears throat> is on track to produce 50% more fossil fuels than could be burned without increasing Earth's surface temperatures more than 2 degrees. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, take it away. French News Service, for those of you who do not understand this. <clears throat> Oil, gas, and coal output already planned or in the pipeline will overwhelm efforts to cap global warming at levels consistent with a livable planet. The United Nations and leading research groups warned Wednesday this morning, the world is on track to produce 50% more fossil fuels than could be burned without increasing Earth's surface by more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, they said in a major new report. This is the latest grim, dire climate report <clears throat> out this morning. If temperature rise if temperature rise is to be limited to one and a half degree C, <laughs> planned fossil fuel production is already more than double what can be tolerated. Don't forget that the 2015 Paris Agreement calls for blocking blocking global warming at well below 2 degrees C and 1.5 if possible. With only 1 C of warming to date, 
the world has already seen a crescendo of deadly heat waves, flooding, and superstorms made more destructive by accelerating sea level rise. Overinvestment. Overinvestment in coal, oil, and gas supply locks in locks in infrastructure that clashes head on with the need to slash greenhouse gas emissions in the coming decades, the researchers cautioned. A major UN report last year, you know, now 13 months ago, concluded that global CO2 emissions must drop 45% by 2030 and reach net zero by 2050 <laughs> to cap temperature rise at one and a half degrees C. And it's that, it, it is this that uh, Dave Pollard is talking about in his essay today uh, about the absolute un adulterated horse shit uh, be, behind it. It ain't gonna fucking happen. Everyone in the goddamn UN knows it. Everybody at Extinction Rebellion knows it. Sancho Panza knows it. It ain't fucking gonna happen. Anyway, I, this is lead author Michael Lazarus, director of the Stockholm Environment Institute. All right, quote, we show for the first time, for the first time, I've been talking about this ever since 2015. Anyway, we show for the first time just how big the disconnect is between Paris temperature goals and countries' plans and policies for coal, oil, and gas production." Close quote. This production gap between output in the pipeline and the Paris climate goals is largest. Which one do you think it's largest for? Coal, oil, or gas? If you had to guess which of the big three uh, is the biggest gap, uh, I would say gas. I would have said gas, oil, then coal, and I would have been completely wrong. The production gap is in fact largest for coal, for coal, according to the report, a joint project by the UN Environment Program and four climate change research centers. Countries plan to produce 150% more coal by 2030. Over the, in the next 11 years, countries plan to produce 150% more coal than would be consistent with a 2C world and a 280% more than would be consistent with limiting warming to one and a half degree. Uh, yeah, one and a half degree. Take a wild guess. Who is the world's largest coal producer? China. China is the world's largest coal producer, accounting for more than 40% of global output in 2017. Domestic production, you know, coal production in China doubled from 2000 to 2013, dropping briefly before resuming its upward trend. So now we're going to go into a deep hole. For oil and gas, nations are on track to produce a 40 to 50 percent surplus over, you know, what is required to keep temperatures down 
uh, in 2040. <clears throat> okay, take a wild guess. Who produced the most oil and gas of any country on the planet uh, last year and the number two producer of coal on the planet? That would, of course, be the United States. The United States generated more oil and gas than any other nation last year and is the world's number two producer of coal behind China. And of course, what we're doing with a bunch of our coal is selling it to China so they can make all of this cheap uh you know, plastic shit like this computer to ship back to us. The Trump administration, which notified the UN earlier this month that the US will pull out of the Paris Treaty, has taken steps to boost fossil fuel production. Do you think so? Has taken steps to boost fossil fuel production, including subsidies for technology to capture CO2 emissions from power plants. Many oil and gas projects approved by major fossil fuel companies in 2018 and the first 10 months of this year appear to assume that global temperatures will rise well beyond the 2C threshold according to research published last month. 18 major investments over this period totaling 50 billion dollars would only become profitable if the world exceeds the Paris targets. The new report points to several ways the fossil fuel production gap could be narrowed, but change has proven difficult to achieve. Do you think so? Change has proven difficult to achieve. Oh yeah. One change would be reducing subsidies direct handouts to oil, gas, and coal production worldwide runs into the tens of billions of dollars each year. Oil majors could also limit their exploration and extraction and shift toward other forms of energy, the report suggested, though Few corporations have taken steps in that direction. Hmm. The new report comes as political and social pressure to act on climate change is mounting. More than 60 countries have committed to updating their voluntary commitments to cut greenhouse gas emissions taken under the Paris Agreement and to lay out their revised plans by the end of next year, kicking the can down the road another uh, year or two. Okay, but we're just going to wrap up with this quote. This is from Mans Nilsson, one of 50 co-authors and executive director of the Stockholm Environment Institute, quote, Governments continued support for coal, oil, and gas extraction is a big part of the problem. <coughs> we are in a deep whole and we need to stop digging. There you go. We are in a deep hole and we need to stop digging. Oh yeah, that's really gonna happen. Stop digging 
our hole deeper and deeper into the hole. Deeper and deeper into the hole we go, but deep into the backyard I must go to start uh, dragging these dead cottonwood branches that have fallen. Uh, drag them out of my peach orchard into the burn pile so we can get a little biomass burning here, but not on this windy day. Get out there and burn all the biomass you can and dig your hole a little bit deeper while you still can. Yes. And keep the Girl Scout cookies from falling on your head. Bye, guys. Okay, camera.